The DJI Mini 4 Pro is packed with new features, most of which relate to footage. In this video I will analyze the two 10-bit color mode, D-Log M versus HLG. I will show how I went to use them and compare them to the 8-bit normal mode. The sensor side is the same as the Mini 3 Pro, 1 over 1 third of an inch, with a field of view at 24 mm, a very wide aperture of f1.7, a video resolution of 4K, and a maximum bitrate of 150 Mbps. According to the DJI website, this model produces HDR video at 4K at frequencies up to 60 frames per second, with the 8-bit normal mode. According to several YouTubers and some well-known websites, the sensor of the Mini 3 Pro is a stacked one, a more recent and advanced technology. The new model has apparently also a new video processor, so some difference in the quality of the footage are expected, compared to the Mini 3 Pro. Normal mode is by far the most popular one, the one to be used with very little editing, or none at all. This mode has constantly been improved in the last couple of generations of the DJI prosumer line. With the Mini 4 Pro in easy daylight conditions, normal mode looks extremely good. There is plenty of detail, the colors are very rich and well balanced, and the shadows are excellent. While in previous models a dose of extra contrast and saturation was needed, with the Mini 4 Pro the footage looks outstanding right out of the sensor. High dynamic range situations are supposed to be the weak point of 8-bit color modes, but normal does a good job. In these clips taken in the direction of the sun, the structure of the sky is excellent, and there is a decent amount of detail in the shadows. The HDR mode of the Mini 4 Pro seems to work quite well. This model can rotate the camera to shoot 4K footage in a vertical orientation, obviously with the same quality. This makes it the perfect tool for footage meant for social media. So, if normal mode in Mini 4 Pro is so good, we can forget about the other two modes, right? Well, things are not that simple. Normal is an 8-bit mode, capable of displaying about 16 million colors, versus over 1 billion for 10-bit modes. The reduced color spectrum can translate into color banding and other artifacts in uniform areas, like the sky or the sea. In high dynamic range situations, 10-bit mode should in theory retain more information in the shadows. Normal mode is also heavily pre-processed, so it is not able to stand heavy editing to adapt the footage to the color scheme of a specific project. The log is a very widely used flat color profile. It is the one supplied with the Mavic 3. The idea behind the FAT profile is to produce low contrast footage by reducing the difference between the highlights and the shadows for better results in high dynamic range situation. A good dose of contrast will be added while editing with more control on the brightest and darkest areas. Since the original footage has very little processing applied, there is more room to modify the colors to adapt it to different projects. The mod supplied with the Mini 4 Pro is D-Log M, a simplified version, not as flat as the true D-Log and easier to edit. When this color profile is selected, the image on the screen looks quite flat, making it difficult to find the correct exposure. But it is possible to select the option Color Assist Display in the white balance window to add contrast and saturation. 
For processing FRAT profiles, LUTs are in most cases used. DJI supplies a free LUT made for the log with the Mini 4 Pro. I will post a link to download it on my website. It can be found on Google, Vic Video Peak, DJI Mini 4 Pro Color Profiles. There are several threads on specialized forums with users disappointed with the result obtained with the log, saying that this mode is simply a rebranded version of this in alike, the 10 bit mode of the Mini 3 Pro, without major improvements. I find that this mode works well in easy daylight conditions and responds well to post processing with ample possibility to modify the colors. I will very soon make a video comparison of the two DJI Lightweight models, but on first impression I must agree that I don't find major improvements compared to this in a like in the Mini 3 Pro. But it is only the first version and DJI will probably improve it via firmware updates, as it is often the case. HLG stands for Hybrid Log Gamma. It is another 10-bit profile for extended dynamic range, maintaining more detail in the shadows and in the highlights. Beginners often get confused between the HLG profile and the HDR mode that is applied only to the normal 8-bit mode. It is in theory meant for HDR displays, like a few models of latest generation TVs, and some recent high-end smartphones, but it is also possible to use it in standard displays. This is what I will be doing here. I don't want to get too technical, as it would easily get boring, but HLG is meant to be used with a specific color space, instead of the more common REC 709. Most video editing programs like Premiere Pro and Final Cut support both color spaces. When using footage shot in different modes or with other cameras, it is better to set the working color space to REC 709. When importing a video clip shot in HLG into the timeline, it looks unnatural and way overexposed, with the highlights completely blown out, as most computer monitors are unable to interpret the color space correctly. To fix it, we simply right-click on the icon of the clip, Choose Modify, then Interpret Footage, and at the bottom click on the option Color Space Override, choosing Rec 709. Now the clip looks as it should. In r 2 HLG is my favorite mode with excellent detail and outstanding colors. After playing around with it a bit and trying different exposure and color grading values, I can say the same for this profile in the Mini 4 Pro. There is plenty of detail in the shadows and the colors are sensational. Night footage is quite magic. Color grading in HLG is a joy. Some users may find the look a bit oversaturated, but it is easy to tone it down. Noise is rarely an issue, unless in extreme low light, but I don't worry about it, as I use the excellent denoiser NIT video. You will find info about NIT video in the description. You can watch my video about it by clicking on the link on the screen. Using LUTs is not a must, although it would be helpful if DJI supplied a specific one for this mode. I have used the DJI LUT for the Log M for the Mini 4 Pro as a starting point with good results. One thing to notice is that HLG is very demanding in terms of computer resources. Click on this link to watch my video about photography with the Mini 4 Pro. And don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Thank you.